We're here at the LA Auto Show, and we're with the hit of the show, which is the 911 Dakar. This is the off-road 911 that Porsche's actually been thinking about since 2012, and they finally released it for the show. And we learned seven things that you probably do not know about this car. Be sure to log into your YouTube account, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Best of all, it's free to do so. We're here with Michael Tam. Michael, you're a friend of PCNA, or PCA, and you're with PCNA. Yes. You, uh, we go to you for everything technical and expert because you are like the ultimate Porsche geek. Of and course. you make us all happy. So, let's go with that list of seven things we don't know about this car you may not have known. The livery. The livery. This particular one is called our Rally Design Package. And this is actually a hand-painted situation here. The main body is painted in white and they mask off manually to paint the lower half in gentian blue, as well as a couple elements on it. And then they finish off by actually foiling some of the extra accents you see here for this old style livery, uh, harking back to our old Rothmans cars. In total, it actually takes 34 additional hours to create this livery. And so that means it leaves a regular paint booth mm -hmm. and then it goes to Porsche Exclusive? It still stays a lot in the factory line, but there are exclusive manufacturer representatives working on the car, doing the hand masking, as well as there's three layers of clear coat on this car to get this finish. But that's not the only choice you have, you told me. There's something else you can choose. No, if you don't do the rally design package, of course, you can do a normal paint job on the car. But then with that, we actually offer three additional full vehicle decal sets. So we have a 1971, 74, and 78 decal set. You can now see on the configurator. Um, and those are just full decal sets, not painting, but just an alternative design harking back to our other rally race cars. So if you're not individual enough with this design, you can make yourself even more individual with the uh, ones in the configurator. I can't wait to see them. Yep. All right, number two, uh, you move the coolers, the intercoolers, from yes. where they usually are to a new location because Porsche is serious that this is a real off-road car. Yes. Well, a real off-road car needs approach angle, right? That's something you really need for off-roading. So what a normal GTS has is a large center radiator. And that, of course, kind of gets in the way when you want to move the bumper up and get that approach angle, right? So instead of that center radiator, we took that center radiator out. And we instead, we put two turbo radiators on the left and right with bigger 650 watt cooling fans and these stone guard grills in front to protect them. So with these two larger uh, radiators, we can still get the cooling requirements of this GTS motor, still make the 473 horsepower while getting that better approach angle. Uh, number three, the roof rack. This is my favorite part. Uh, yes. The, the roof rack and the lights. Yes. So we have this great equipment offer to really fit in with the rest of the car. So of course you get your normal roof transport bars, but then you can get this roof basket on top with integrated lights. So every Dakar comes pre-wired with a 12 volt outlet on the roof and you just plug this roof basket in to get these lights. And right there next to your dome light, you get this cute little icon of the car with a headlight on top, push it and it turns on these off-road lights for you. And on top, of course, you can get your gas can, water can, recovery boards, duffel bag, shovel, all from Porsche equipment. And while I'm sure you'll be tempted to use this on the road, mm -hmm. maybe to push people out of the left lane, these are off-road only lights, right? Off-road only, let's not be mean. Uh, the other one that we actually had to, uh, yeah. to get some creative filming mm -hmm. was when you open the door, mm -hmm. a light shines down below and tell us what we actually we see. That's absolutely unique to the Rally Design Package was a Rough Roads projector. So not only did it say Rough Roads, similar to what it says on the side of the car, but it's actually the tread pattern of these standard all-terrain tires. So it's a very cool little puddle light that projects underneath the door panel. The other thing is the uh, tow hooks. Now, <laughs> uh, every enthusiast puts the tow hook, aftermarket tow hook in their front bumper, their yeah. rear bumper. Uh, Porsche went a step level and yeah. these things, uh, they're not going anywhere. No, and every good off-road vehicle has recovery points, right? Because inevitably, sometimes you will get stuck. And it wouldn't be a proper off-road vehicle without these tow hooks, both front and rear and finished in a very cool looking red. And they're integrated right into the chassis of the car. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. isn't something that's going to unscrew or be removed and put, put in the tool set. No, not unscrewed, completely permanently fixed. Number six. Mm -hmm. Now, is this probably the first time ever that I've seen Porsche with driving modes that say off-road and rally. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Even though you get, you look like you get the normal driving mode knob, when you turn it, you notice there's a mode missing, Sport Plus. But instead, what we put is rally and off-road mode there. So really, it's designed for both loose surfaces as well as other off-road situations. So it's, it's actually not just a little switch, it's actually software that's reprogrammed mm -hmm. 
to handle these situations. Correct, the rally mode even has a rally launch control mode, so it actually allows for a little bit of wheel slip on a dirt road for the best launch control on dirt. Now I think we're gonna have to take this out to try that out because I really wanna see what uh, launch control is in rally mode, that's too tempting. I wanna go with you and do that. <laughs> uh, number seven, the tires. Uh, it yeah. was fascinating to find out that you know, Pirelli made these tires especially for this car mm -hmm. and how well they did yes. and dry. Yeah, we were so impressed with that. So instead of making summer tires standard, we found that these all-terrain tires had good enough on-road characteristics. We wanted the car to come standard with it, really speaking about off-road uh, prowess. So we have these standard Pirelli Scorpion all-terrain pluses on there, also rated to 149 mile an hour top speed for this car. Now this car at the Newburgh I, I they told us did the same lap time as a 996 GT3. Yeah. I mean, that says a lot. It's no slouch. Yeah, even though it's yeah. raised and it looks like it's off-road mm -hmm. only, this thing, uh, it can haul. Yeah, it still drives like a 911. So there you go, seven things that you probably didn't know about the new 911 Dakar that now you can share with your friends at your next Cars and Cars. <music> so one of my favorite cars here at the LA Auto Show is the fact they brought the T's. T meaning touring. This is a car that's a, a level above the base model uh, even though the sign behind me says purist, I like to think of it as the enthusiast car because this is the car that a driving enthusiast or purist will go after because it has all the stuff that makes the driving experience that much better. So Michael, tell us what this car in particular has over top of base model. Why would you want to choose this model? I would say this is the ultimate version of the base model. Of course, first off, the very core of it, seven-speed manual transmission ma made it to the standard base engine with the 379 horsepower. Which you can't get with the base model. You gotta Correct. Go with the T. For this generation 992, this is the only way you can get the base motor with a manual transmission. So this is the lowest price 911 you also get with a manual transmission. So with that, we also have some weight savings that we accomplished with various elements around the car, including standard rear seat delete. That's not something we did on 991. With that standard rear seat delete, the lightweight glass manual transmission, this is actually 100 pounds lighter than a normal Carrera. That's a lot. Anyone who's yep. built a race car knows how hard it is to take 100 pounds. It's easier to pay Porsche to take 100 yeah. pounds than for me to lose 100 pounds. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, that actually makes us the lightest Carrera in the current model lineup. So short of the GT cars, this is the lightest Carrera. So very good purest ones. Um, the rest of the car, there's also a couple other touches we did. So PASM sport suspension. You'll notice the car is sitting a little bit lower. So this has a PASM sport suspension, normally not available in the base car either. That's only available as an S and above. So another unique element. We also optionally can order reaxle steering, something normally can't do on the base car either. Um, yeah, lots of unique drivetrain elements. Standard PTV too. Standard locking differential with this. Um, all this all contributes to a very, very sporty drive combined with a very good low entry price point and a good couple styling elements you see here. For example, the titanium gray wheels, agate gray mirrors, all these small little touches put it a little different looking than a normal Carrera. And it still qualifies for now this new PTS where it's, uh, how many colors you can choose from over 100? Yeah, over I think it's colors? almost 115 now. Yeah. This is the first time ever we're ordering, uh, offering paint to sample on a Carrera T this time around. I, I saw this uh, color and I immediately I thought it was a GT3 because <laughs> it looked like a PTS color, but yeah. you know, for uh, a T, this is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, and this Python green color is one of our communication colors. You can actually also get a lizard green interior package to match this Python green. It's really cool looking. So if you want a, what I call a baby GT3 Touring, this is the one to look at. So one of the cars I was surprised to see here at the LA Auto Show in this color was the 718 Style Edition because we've seen pictures of it in this new Ruby Star Neo but it actually comes in this pretty cool color, which is Arctic Gray. But yeah. this is a special edition that actually won't be available till 2024. Correct, this will be introduced as a model year 24 for the United States. So this is very big, a sneak preview right now. Uh, the style is really a big element. You see that we here have the high gloss black package. So this is a black accent package. You see the stripe on the center of the hood. You see the black, 718 spider design wheels. So we actually have a narrower version of the spider wheel that we put on this car for the style and the model logos on the back also match in the high gloss black. 
You can optionally get the package in white, which contrasts great with the other color that we revealed, Ruby Star Neo. That was the color we actually put on a boxer as the communication color. You can, of course, get it on the Cayman as well. And the white accent package goes very nicely with it. So the style package only comes on the uh, Cayman and Boxster? Yes. Okay. And, and this is based off a normal base uh, Cayman Boxster with the 2 liter, two, 300 horsepower, still getting a PDK manual and everything else. Any limit to the uh, amount they're going to produce? Nope, this is not a limited number of cars, so definitely try to get your hands on one. So if you're going into the dealership, you're looking for a Cayman or Boxster, yep. this is a great alternative if you want something unique yep. without stepping into something higher. Yes. So there you go, another sneak preview here at the LA Auto Show. Thank you.